Hi everyone, this is Sunera from Itsy Bitsy and I'm here to show you how I made um, carnation flowers out of tissue paper which I used in my blog. Um, here's a look at what I created. So um, this is the this is the present which um, I made. I gift wrapped some ribbon, um, some <coughs> paper and of course um, the carnation flowers right in the center so you can have a look okay so let me show you how I made that now the carnation flowers are made out of tissue paper um, when I say tissue paper I mean a regular tissue Kleenex which you wipe your face or blow your nose into that's what I used right so you take your tissue paper and it anyways usually comes folded in half so you keep it folded in half like that then you've got to scrunch it up almost as if you were making a fan but make each pleat really really tiny so now I just use my finger it doesn't have to be perfect but if it is perfect it probably will look even neater <clears throat> You scrunch it up like so. Here's what I've made. Basically, it looks like a butterfly fan kind of thing. Um, then uh, we need to um, connect it at the center where my fingers are. At the moment, I mean, for this project, I just use cello tape, but you could um, typically use a wire if you need to have stems. Uh, coming out of the carnation. So um, here's what I do. I just put the sticky tape right in the center and twist it around so that the flower is completely fixed and stuck in the center. Alright. Now once that's done, um, what we do is we will fold this in half, like so, and try and scrunch it back up to as tight as, it's po as possible. Don't worry if you crush it up a bit, it really doesn't matter. <clears throat> Take your scissors and cut the tip, right, just the tip. No, it is not completely right. You can have a good look at it and see if there are any bits which have not been cut. And cut it. Then take your felt pen and color the edge like this. You want to color only the edge, but you also want to make sure you get as the entire edge. You don't want to miss out any bits. So if you if you really scrunch it tight, you won't see any white bits in between. But anyway, then what you do is open out all the layers. Now, tissue paper has is made up of two layers in general and because we folded it now there are four layers so if you um, look closely you can see what I'm doing um, the edge you have to just separate each edge and if you've not cut it properly then it won't be so easy to separate so um, here we go. Now I've just separated one layer. There are three more to go. And bear in mind that this is tissue paper, so it is going to tear if you're not really careful. 
and ordinarily a small tear won't really matter but if there's a big tear it's not going to look as pretty to find the other two edges there we go It's also because this is not cut fully. I can cut this, separate those two. Right, so this side is done. Repeat for the other side. As you separate the um, layers, you will find that um, there is a there is just a slight tinge of color at the tip, which is what we really wanted to achieve. If you know if that coloring was not done very neatly, then you know you would have a larger smudge on the top, which doesn't always look that pretty. You can also just do a solid color carnation if that's what you would prefer. Alright, I'm just going to open the final layer. Um, it's really thin, so it's not easy to figure that out. Here we go. And of course, the last layer is the most tender because it is just one thin piece of tissue. And we're done. Now it's going to look a bit weird like that so you just have to bend it so that both the, both the bits join and then um, straighten out wherever you feel. It needs to bear in mind this is really gonna crush easily so you want to be really careful and when it's done this is what it looks like if you have some washi tape you can uh, tape around the stem I don't have any so I can show you and then it can look even more like a real crash there we go Happy crafting!